Hey guys and welcome to another video and this time we are at Rite Aid this week and we I'm excited for this diaper deal but of course before we do go inside guys please don't forget to like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below and to subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot when you guys do so if you could take a minute real quick it would be much appreciated so like I said earlier guys there's a diaper deal I am really hoping to do today so let's cross our fingers go inside and see what we can get Okay guys, so next, the first sale I'm gonna do is the Earn 10 in bonus cash when you buy two Unilever men products and any two Father's Day American greeting cards at, they have to be $2.99 for the greeting cards. Um, I'll post a picture of this up so you guys can like zoom in and whatnot. Um, so I looked through all these cards, none of them are $2.99. A lot of them is are $4.99. I did find two of these, and these are $3.99. So I'm gonna pick up two of these at $3.99 and use this $4 off a two coupon that is just hanging here in the store. And then to complete that deal, I'm gonna grab two of these Dollar Shave Club wipes on clearance for $2.15. There is a couple other things that were on clearance, but obviously the store is all sold out but I was able to pick up two of these. So we're gonna do that. So this is everything we're gonna pick up for this deal. Our total for everything is going to be $12.26. We have that $4 off a two coupon that we pulled. And then there is a $3.50 off a $1 Shave Club product coupon. I'm hoping it will come off since both of these combined are more than $3.50. So hopefully, that works out. If it does, I will pay four seventy six at the register and then get ten dollars in bonus cash back, making all four of these free and a five dollar and twenty four cent money maker. That three fifty digital does not come off. I'm gonna submit to the coupons.com app because there's a three to three dollar and fifty cent one um, on there, so it'll still come out to the same. Um, but if it does come off, I'm still going to submit to that coupon since that coupon, the digital coupon, is technically just, or not technically, it's only for one product and the digital one or the coupons.com one is also a digital or for one product. So we'll make it a bigger money maker, but we'll see what happens. I okay, so next I'm going to do the boost deal. Boost is buy one, get one half off and then buy two, get $8 in bonus cash back, a limit of two per account. Um, I'm gonna do it once. I'm gonna pick up two of these Boost um, Original at $12.49 each. Okay, so here's my breakdown for the Boost. They're $12.49 with the buy one given half off. Our total comes out to $18.73. I'm gonna use the $6 off a two coupon from this week's inserts, uh, the save insert to be exact. That is gonna bring us down to paying $12.73. We're gonna get $8 in bonus cash back. Making it $4.73 for the both of them, or $2.36 each, which is okay. We are going to pair it in with our Dollar Shave Club and the American Greeting Card Steal because we're going to use a 5 off of 25 next purchase CRT. I do have a 6 off of 30, but with the Dollar Shave Club being digital, um, if I wanted to use it, I'd have to spend at least $33.50 to make sure it comes off. I don't know how to explain it too well with the store, like 5 off of 25, 6 off of 30 coupons, but if you have a digital and you're using one of those store coupons, your total has to be more than the threshold coupon. I don't know, physics for example, I have the 6 off of 30, my coupon's not going to come off because my threshold coupon is $30. But if I use a 5 off of 25, I still have $5 left over so the digital can attach to, I guess. So then, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. If someone else can explain it better, explain it. <laughs> but I don't know. That's what I'm doing. I'm using a 5 off of 25 for all this. All right, so here's our receipt. We have the Dollar Shave Club and our digital came off. Our Father's Day cards, the Boost. And everything came off, no issues. Our subtotal was $12.49. And we paid all of that with the bonus cash we already had. And we got a total of $18 in bonus cash back. Plus, I got 310 points and that brought me to another 1,000 points. So that's basically an extra $2 back for this transaction. 
and down here you can see we got it for the boost and the dollar shave club so that's awesome i was a little worried how because the dollar shave club was on clearance but it worked out no issues and we are going to submit to the coupons.com app for another 350 back for the second dollar shave club since we did not use a coupon for one of the items so we got a total of $23.50 back and we spent $12.49. It makes this transaction free and an $11 money maker. Next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be on some General Mills cereal specifically. They're on sale two for six dollars. And then when you buy two, you get two dollars in bonus cash back, and it's a limit of two per account. So I'm gonna pick up a total of four. But of course I want to show you what I wanted to get, but this store does not have any. And it was the Honey Nut Cheerios made with real honey. The smaller count, like this one. Um, but it's all sold out, sadly. Um, but what I am going to pick up is one of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, one of the Tricks, the Lucky Charms, and one Reese's Puff. My total for all four is going to be $12. We're not going to use any coupons, so we'll be paying that in store. Unless there's digital. If there is a digital, go ahead and use it. It's not that big of a deal. I haven't checked yet. But if you don't want to check like me and just forget about digitals, we're paying the full $12 in store. But then we are going to submit to the coupons.com app for a dollar back for each two that we buy. So we're going to get both of these. So $2 on there. Plus, we're going to track towards this rebate. And then on Ibotta check your account um, my mom's account only had a dollar back when you buy two and it was a limit of one but on my account I have 50 cents back on each of these so on I bought it I'm gonna get a total of two dollars back want to look at the breakdown here's a break breakdown for them two for six twelve dollars pay twelve dollars get four dollars back in bonus cash two for each two that we buy 50 cents for each box on I bought it. so we're getting four boxes so 50 cents times four is two dollars and then a dollar for each two that we buy on the coupons.com app so an extra two dollars making it just four dollars or a dollar each for each box which is not a bad deal i'll take it i'm gonna pair this in and do that boost deal again so i can max that out and it's gonna i'm gonna use another five I can use the 6 out for 30, but I want to wait to use my 6 out for 30 for the diaper deal. This store does not have, well, they have some. They have one, one size, and then they have another one, but that bo the bag is just completely ripped open, and I don't want that. So yeah, we're going to hold off on the diaper deal for now. I'll see if I can head over to another store today. Probably not, though. Right, so here is for the General Mills and Boost. All our coupons came off. We didn't have any issues. Our subtotal was $19.73. We paid that with the bonus cash we already had. And we got $12 in bonus cash back. Here you can see we got it twice for the General Mills and then for the Boost. So we have maxed out both deals on this account, which is fine. We got everything we were expecting. And then on Ibotta, we're getting $2 back, 50 cents for each of the cereal, plus a $2 a dollar for each two that we bought on coupons.com, giving us a total of $16 back, making it just $3.73 for all six products. Okay, so the next deal I want to do is going to be on some Huggy diapers, specifically on the size one. The store that I was at earlier only had two, and one of the packages was like completely ripped open. Um, so I waited till the next day when I was coming to work. Definitely wasn't sure if this store was going to have any, but they had three, which is awesome. Um, so I'm picking up the Little Snugglers, Little Snugglers size one, and then the special delivery size one. They're each on sale for $10.99, so my total is $32.97. I'm going to use two of these $2 off of one for the Huggy Diapers manufacturing coupons from this week's insert. And then I'm going to use a digital for the third one. I also have the 6 off of 30 next purchase coupon that printed last week for me. So I have a total of $12 in coupons. That is going to bring me down to paying $20.97 at the register. But then for spending $30, i am going to get $10 back, making it $10.97. And then on Ibotta, we have a $5 rebate, or I have a $5 rebate for these items. It's a limit of 3 so I'll get $5 three times, which is $15, which is going to make it like a $4 moneymaker. Um, next... 
I'm thinking, I'm not 100% sure if I want to do it this way, but I might pick up the pull-ups because I have another six off of 30 and we have a $2 rebate on those. My final cost with those, and we do have $2 coupons, one digital and then um, paper ones from this week's insert. So my total will come out to the same, just the rebate is less and my final cost will be like $5 for all three. Plus I have a huggy bonus that when I spend like $74, I'll get an extra $18 back which i'm not gonna reach it was doing the diaper deal both of them the pull-ups and this one but i will reach at least eleven dollars and forty cents back which is gonna make both of these deals an even greater money maker so i'm thinking i'm gonna do it that way all right so here is the huggies diaper deal everything worked out our total came out to 20.97 like we expected and we got ten dollars back for that promotion and then we are going to submit to Ibotta for $15 back, which is going to make it a $4.03 moneymaker. And then again with this, we are tracking for that Huggy bonus that I have. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the pull-up still now. Was grabbing two pull or three pull-ups um, using two paper coupons and then one digital. And then the six of the 30 that I have. And then submitting to Ibotta for $2 back for each one and then we're gonna get that extra eleven forty back or something so yeah I think I'm gonna do that deal that's my plan then we're done all right so this is everything that we picked up at Rite Aid today um before we go over final numbers I do want to mention some fetch offers that I had that I didn't know I had the first one was 500 points back for any receipt that I submit. The second one was on the General Mills cereal. I got 750 points back for each box that I bought, and it was a limit of five, so I got that four times. So 3,000 points, which is $3. For the Huggy Diapers, it was spend 22, get 1,100 points back, which is $1.10. And then for the pull-ups, it was spend 23, get 1,250 points back which is basically a dollar 25 so i got all that back which is awesome for everything my total would have been 74 dollars with 16 cents i got a total of 50 dollars in bonus cash back a total of two an extra 2,000 points for like the one percent back or whatever which is four dollars total of 16.40 from the bonus cash challenges 23 dollars from ibotta five dollars and fifty cents from coupons.com the app and then 6,640 points from Fetch, which is $6.64, giving me a total savings of $105.54, making everything you see here completely free and a $31.38 moneymaker haul, which is super awesome. This worked out so amazing. I am super happy with everything that we picked up today. This was great. I am so happy to be back, <laughs> um, but this is it for me, and this is my whole Rite Aid haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to help you out with your couponing putting your deals together and anything else you guys might have questions with but of course if you guys do have any more questions please do not hesitate to ask i'll always be more than happy to help you guys out in any way that i can and of course like always thank you all so much for clicking on this video and watching what i do i truly do appreciate it and you guys it really does mean a lot to me and i really do feel beyond blessed for all of it so thank you all again and until next time have a good day bye